Hey everybody, it's another episode of Ask Jason, our first one to kick off 2016. I'm so excited. We were flooded, flooded with your questions. And this is one of my favorite things to do because, listen, I meet with startups for a living and I invest in 50 a year and I hear every possible question and I talk to a lot of people, people smarter than me, frankly, about these questions because the same questions keep coming up. And here's the thing, people will not give you a candid answer in this world. They're not gonna tell it to you blunt and straight. That's why you tune in to this show, This Week in Startups, because you know that I will tell you the truth. And our first question is from Carlos, and Carlos, he definitely needs a dose of honesty here. I'm gonna read you his question. Jason, I have a validated idea with huge potential and market, but I don't wanna build a startup because I have because I know there are successful startups in this niche that could easily add this idea to their products. How do I sell the idea to an established or successful startup? Carlos, uh, I get this question often, and the answer is you don't. You are not some unique, brilliant person who comes up with the greatest ideas in the world. You are overvaluing your ideas. And it's common for people to do this. They think because they figured out some idea that Google or YouTube or Facebook or Snapchat or Uber should be doing, they're some kind of geniuses. Now listen, even in the 1% chance that you are the genius of all geniuses, the 0.1% chance that you're putting together these incredible ideas that nobody else can think of, well, if you're that person, you should be starting companies. If you're the person, like the other 99.99% of us, who has the same ideas as everybody else. Oh, Uber, Uber of this, Uber of that, Uber of chocolate chip cookies, Uber of pizza, Uber of dog washing. I mean, Uber of dry cleaning. Their ideas are so obvious. Put Uber before anything. Put Facebook before or after any word. Facebook for sports, Facebook for music, Facebook for this group of people, Facebook for that group of people. None of these ideas are all that unique. You're overvaluing ideas. There is no marketplace for selling ideas. Ideas are easy, execution is hard. To the victor uh, go the spoils, and the victor is the one who can, Carlos, execute. If you don't have the ability to execute, then your ideas are worthless. That's just the God's honest truth. There's no market for you to sell your ideas. Unless maybe you wanna become a product manager, design these things, make wireframes, and go work at one of those companies, and then they'll pay you a salary in order, and maybe some stock options in order to flesh out and actually test these ideas. So, uh, Ben, the answer is, you will not successfully sell any of your ideas. There is, and there's one little tiny exception for this, which is you could become a patent troll. You could actually come up with a bunch of ideas, patent them, and um, but there's a lot of patent reform going on. It's a whole separate issue, and you probably don't want that lifestyle anyway. And it's super expensive to do, because it costs 15, 20 grand just to even file a provisional patent. Okay, uh, great question, Carlos. I'm sorry, the answer is not. Like, there's some marketplace like eBay where you can just go sell your idea to the highest bidder. Ah, just think about all the time and effort and money you spend going to meetings, going across town, getting stuck in traffic from Palo Alto all the way up to San Francisco, out to Oakland, traveling across the country, going to Seattle, going out to LA, back to New York. It is exhausting and it is a waste of time and money. Most meetings could occur with the help of GoToMeeting, and they would occur flawlessly. I know because I do these meetings all the time. In fact, I've been meeting with a dozen entrepreneurs every week over GoToMeeting, back to back to back, recording these meetings and sharing them back with the entrepreneurs as I give them feedback for when they come to the launch festival in uh, March, March 2nd, there and 4th, in fact. And I can only do with GoToMeeting because Everybody can use any product they have, computer, tablet, smartphone, doesn't matter what operating system, it just works everywhere. And it is HD quality with perfect, perfect HD sound and the ability to share screens. And it never hiccups, it never has bandwidth problems, it just always works. And that to me is the key. You know, if you're gonna do these kind of virtualized meetings, they can't be breaking up and they can't have poor fidelity. They have to be perfect. So here is your call to action. This is what I want you to do right now. 
I want you to go to gotomeeting.com and try it free for 30 days. There is nothing to lose. Visit gotomeeting.com and click the try it free button. Do it now and have your first meeting up and running in minutes. It literally uh, works so simple that I have like, like little Google Calendar uh, Chrome extension where it puts a GoToMeeting button every time I create um, uh, a meeting. And I just press boop, GoToMeeting, and it generates a code, gives everybody the code, everybody knows the link, boom, and it just works. So go ahead and go to GoToMeeting.com and get your free 30-day trial. It's a great product. I've been using it for years. I love it. It's a pleasure for me to read uh, you know, an ad about GoToMeeting because I don't have to read it because I use it. It's literally on the list of my top 10, 20 products that I use every week. Uh, it just makes me super efficient in meeting with entrepreneurs. So uh, thanks to our friends at GoToMeeting. And if you're a super fan of the show, go ahead and thank at GoToMeeting on Twitter. They love to see your support of the program. Okay, let's get back to this episode. <laughs> 